What are you talking about? I'm not under criminal investigation. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I have the Vixen. The Vixen V2, in particular. Uh, this thing I've been spending a little more time with. I promised I would give y'all an update on it. And an update I do have. Oh yes, the Vixen V2 is really good. Uh, I will say that right off the bat. I really like it. It is unique. Uh, which I think is good. Uh, I don't think it is a bog standard ballad song by any means, and I think that's a good thing for sure. Um, it's different than a lot of my collection, especially the Titanium Channel knives that I own. It is weirdly more heavy than I was expecting. Um, like, it looks like it should be honestly kind of light. Um, it's got all this milling, all these holes, it's got speed channels, and yet, I haven't actually weighed it. I don't know what the uh, weight of this thing is, but it certainly feels like a five ounce knife. And the thing that I've found, you know, I've compared this to um, my Invictus, and the Invictus feels lighter than this thing to flip. I've compared this to my Impusa, which seems like it should be a way heavier knife, but actually flips substantially lighter than this thing. This thing takes effort to do almost anything. You have to want it to like do specific tricks and you have to push it and like make it do it. And I think that makes it a very good technical flipper. I think if you are a person that likes to do tech, I think this is a fantastic ballast song for you because it is very momentum based. It carries a lot of momentum through things. And so if you like sort of like you know, a, a bit of a slower vibe with more interesting stuff that you're doing, this will do that. Um, I like a little bit more fluid stuff, and I, I think this doesn't do a bad job with that, but I definitely notice a couple hiccups here and there. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with this thing. I think it is a fantastic ballast song. It just is strange because it's like experience is not what I was expecting. And as I spent time with it, I started to realize that I think I do have a good comparison point. What this sort of feels like, flipping experience-wise, is my Latchless Chab, the Channel Alpha Beast, um, the Latchless variant. That thing has a ton of handle weight. It's a very heavy ballast song, all things considered, and it, like, it is, it is slow, and it's, it's heavy and kind of weird in that way, and, like, honestly, it's, it's quite good. Um, I like flipping it, but this feels like that if it was a better ballast song in general. And what I mean by that is that this thing is comfortable. So the Chab is, you know, great and I like it, but it is chunky, it is square, and it is kind of sharp in a number of ways. It's got, you know, very little chamfering, a lot of just kind of direct straight lines, straight edges, all sorts of stuff like that, whereas this thing is smooth and textured and just really premium feeling. Every single like surface is nice and smooth and polished and so good. Uh, so overall experience wise, like comfort and that kind of stuff, just, just directly in terms of how it actually feels to use, is nice. It's really nice. It's better than the Chab is in general, but it's still heavy. And so that's a weird in-between place for a ballast song to be, you know, to be heavy and smooth and slow, but also like comfortable and like round and like all sorts of stuff like that. So I don't know, this one hits a very unique spot for me. I honestly really like it. We'll probably end up making a full review of it at some point in the future. So you know, maybe look forward to that. That might take quite some time, so no big promises there. But I do really like it. I am very impressed with it. And uh, yeah, I think this is a very good thing to add to almost anybody's collection, especially if you like sort of uh, older style ballast songs or like boomer knives, if you will. Um, some of Jerry's earlier stuff, uh, some of Benchmade's earlier stuff, or like if you like how the, you know, Alpha Beast flips. This is more on that level than it is on the more modern level of like some of the Machine Wise ballast songs, um, like the the newest ones from Machine Wise or the um, Tsunami from Squid Industries, like those higher class, higher tier ballast songs are generally trending towards lighter and easier to maneuver. 
and I think this kind of bucks that trend, and I kind of like that. Um, I think it's one that I can't flip too much of because it will make my hands very tired, um, but I like it. I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, that is my thoughts on the LDY Vixen V2. This thing is just beautiful. I mean, they did the most incredible job with this anodization, so I genuinely love it. I think it's a very interesting ballast song. I don't think it's for everybody. I think uh, if you don't like heavier ballast songs, you will not like this. Um, but I think it's good. So far, the uh, latchless part of it has held up just fine. I've been flipping it a lot, but there is literally no way to tell if the latchless part will actually hold up over a long period of time without flipping it for literally a long period of time. So that'll be something that we update like going into the future. I am hopeful that it will be fine, but I've been bitten by that hope before, so we'll find out there. But in general, really like this thing. I think it's really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.